Hello, today I'm going to review the new product from Optolong, which is the L Pro light pollution filter that comes now as a clip-in filter for Canon EOS R series cameras. For instance, I have my EOS R right here and I have this filter installed. It is a clip-in, so it clips right onto the camera body and then you can put pretty much any lens on top of that. Not exactly all of the lenses, which I'm going to get into later in today's video, but pretty much it is very convenient to use like that. Now, before we start, full disclosure, Optolong was kind enough to send the copy of this filter to me ahead of time before the actual release for free, so I can use it and I can review it on this channel, but they haven't paid me to make this video and every opinion that I will express about this filter today is completely unbiased and completely honest. So in this video I'm going to show you the physical characteristics of this filter because there are some cool uh, design uh, solutions that they have implemented into this filter which I really like. I will also compare it to my old trusty Astronomic CLS light pollution filter and then also I will show you an image that I have captured with this filter, which is the image of the M31 Andromeda Galaxy. And I will show you some key moments in the editing process, how I made the final photo. So let's get started. So this filter comes in a standard box that Optolong filters uh, come with. Inside the box we have this uh, plastic hard case to keep the filter, store it and keep it in our bag for convenience. And then also we have this little tiny triangular shape kind of like green plasticky thing which kind of looks like this plastic uh, thing that you would use to play a guitar with. And this tool is going to help us remove the filter from our camera. And then of course in the box there is the filter itself. If you want to put in the filter inside the camera it is very easy. You just need to remove the lens so you have the camera body only. And then you will put the filter head first like this. You would hold it with your finger and then you would just uh, slide in the bottom part of this filter and make it nice and tight inside the camera body. The filter is equipped with this uh, very ingenious solution which are these two flaps on this springy mechanism on the top and those two flaps with those springs are here to ensure that the filter is secure and very confidently it is fitting in the, inside the camera body. So. I can just put my camera upside down, I can shake it like this and the filter is not going anywhere, which is not something I would say about the Astronomic CLS, which is the filter that if you put it in, it kind of looks nice and snug, but I'm always you know, worried about the fact that if I leave it in, if I put the camera like this, it will fall out inside the, inside the lens or something like this. So this one from Optolong is definitely way more secure because of this mechanism and then if you want to if you want to put the lens you just put the lens like normal and you can use an RF mount lens or you can use the adapter like I use here the RF to EF mount adapter and then you can just put it on there is no problem in that if you want to take this filter off you would just use this green plastic element that came in the box and you can just pry off the bottom part of the filter and just easily remove it. Simple as that. The filter housing is made out of metal completely and it is very slim. It really looks, has the, it, it really has this kind of a premium feel to it. It looks uh, really, really well made. And it is very, very slim, which uh, I thought that I will be able to use it with every lens that I have. But frankly, there is one lens. Well, it's not exactly a lens, it's an extender. I have this RF 2X extender right here and as you can see it has quite a bulbous and convex back element and also these two plastic thingies that are here to protect you from scratching this glass element and if I want to put it in mount it on the camera with the filter in it looks like it fits but I, I, I cannot twist it so it's just too thick in order to be able to put on the 2X RF uh, extender and I had the same issue with the Astronomic CLS. I actually reached out to Astronomic and they made a slimmer version of their CLS filter for me and their slimmer version 
actually is able to work with this extender and also I had the same issue with the RF35 f1.8 macro lens so I would suppose I cannot really test it right now because I sold my RF35 but it might be an issue with uh, lenses or extenders that then they have a protruding uh, back element like this so I would double check if your lens is going to fit but I would say probably 95% of lenses would definitely fit with this filter. One thing that potentially might worry me a little bit because as I said the housing is completely made out of metal there is nothing on the back that would kind of act as a protective layer uh, between the filter itself and the camera body so it theoretically could cause some scratching inside here I didn't notice anything as I was using it but it might happen over time the Astronomic CLS is a bit thicker and it has this rubberized kind of a cushion on the back which is here I suppose to to protect um, the camera body itself the Optolong L Pro doesn't have that but thanks to that it is slimmer and it actually provides a better fit inside the camera so I will be I am more confident that it doesn't fall out which it it, it, it doesn't so I think that what they do with those flaps right here the springy mechanism and the, the housing made out of metal it's actually a very good fit and I would choose that over what Astronomic did absolutely for sure so as I mentioned at the beginning the filter the, this filter is an L Pro which is a light pollution filter and this is a broadband filter so it works best with either wild field shots of the Milky Way or shots of galaxies and I thought that uh, since we have an autumn right now and Andromeda Galaxy is very well positioned on the northern hemisphere I would give it a go and I would try to use the Optolong L Pro for Canon EOS R to shoot the Andromeda Galaxy so the photograph of the Andromeda Galaxy actually came into this wooden cottage that you see behind me uh, it is in the mountains actually it's pretty close to where I live and the sky right here it's not something crazy like Bortel 2 it's Bortel 4 four five ish something like this so using a light pollution filter uh, definitely helps in that kind of a situation but you can of course uh, try to use the the L Pro in more light polluted areas like Bortle 6 or maybe even 7 you can definitely try that and for my setup I was using the Skywatcher Star Adventure tracking mount that I always use if you watch this channel you already know that I was using my uh, 70 to 300 millimeters lens from Canon and I was also using an auto guider because uh, the exposure settings that I settled for was four minutes per sub exposure ISO 1600 I think f5.6 on this lens which is the brightest it can go at 300 millimeters and then I was integrating for three and a half hours I think I collected like 55 sub exposures I had to throw out like half of them because it was a little bit windy here in the mountains but all in all I am very happy with the image that I was able to produce out of this setup so this is how one of the sub exposures looked uh, if I try to open it in Adobe Lightroom or something like this I was shooting it with a daylight uh, white balance on my camera my camera is actually Astro modified I should mention that so I was using the kind of custom daylight uh, to, to photograph uh, this galaxy and normally pictures would look like normal daylight and for the space uh, photographs without the filter they would have this brownish kind of yellowish brownish hue but because this filter is blocking a lot of the yellows images look kind of purpley with this kind of a violet uh, hue or tint and but no worries you can you, we can easily remove that in post-production so this is one sub exposure and I actually to to produce the final image I was using pix insight which is where I was using the weighted batch pre-processing routine to stack everything together of course I shot the flats biases and darks in order to get the best out of my setup and then in pics inside the key moment and the in the first steps of the edit is the automatic background extraction that I used to to remove this color kind of a cast I tried the color calibration but it didn't remove much of this purple color but automatic background extraction and set to division mode completely removed that no problem and then to stretch the image finally after a bit of denoising 
I used the arc scene stretch in order to preserve more colors in this image. And then when I brought it over to Photoshop, I just dialed in some contrast using the curves adjustments. I bumped up the saturation and also used the uh, Adobe Camera Raw filter in order to further reduce a little bit of noise and more specifically the color noise, which was very much present still at this phase of the edit. And then after a couple of tweaks, I ended up with this shot of M31, the Andromeda Galaxy, which I am very happy with. And in comparison, I can show you the image of M31 that I took last year using the exact same setup, same lens, uh, without any filters. I, I was shooting at Bortle 4, I think, as well, but no filters and my camera was not modified yet. And this is the image of the M31 that I got last year compared to the image that I got uh, just two days ago using the L Pro from Optolong. And you can see that the image is great. The colors look phenomenal on this image, I think. You have a lot of colorful stars. You have blue stars, yellow, red stars, and the colors of Andromeda look very good in my opinion. So the L Pro from Optolong is something that I would, I would definitely recommend, especially if you want to shoot like galaxies and broadband uh, targets. If you want to get this filter for yourself, it is already released. So you can follow a link down below in my description. You can also check out other videos on my channel. For instance, how I made this extender work with an RF to EF mount adapter. In order to use it with EF lenses, you can check it out uh, right here, I think. And also, I have a bunch of content about astrophotography. Check them out and give this video a like if you liked it. I would really appreciate it and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting a lot more videos. See you in one of those videos, hopefully, and clear skies. Bye-bye.